trying to use it as a rectangular piece. So I'm going to start off with an edge and I'm going to try to follow the similar direction of these uh, other pieces. So just kind of going in a isometric angle where these lines are parallel, but you can start to taper them in a little bit just as it starts to build this edge up. And once you get that started, then you have to kind of take a look and see if you can't arch this illustration. And it's a cartoon piece, so it's going to be a little tricky. And depending on how big you make it, give yourself some room. Now extend mine just a little bit. And it's kind of over-exaggerating the, the look of it, so it gives me that piece. So just going to make it a little bit bigger. And all the lines of text, you just kind of want to sketch it out. So I'm just going to put a couple lines here for that just to get it set up. Okay. And so I've given myself a couple a couple lines. It gives me room over here for the illustration. And this these drawings are what they call a stylization. You know, it doesn't have all of the pieces, parts put down there. So you're trying to go from there. At least gives you that that section. And so kind of... <laughs> setting it up a little bit. And the more accurate are, like I said, these are a simple piece, but then now it has this added section to it. Kind of have this guy slunking away here. Okay. And again, the stylized version in the background of this character. Still start with a circular piece, helps you out. <clears throat> and I did the card enough, so if I have to make it bigger, I can always just extend it, make it a little bit larger. It makes it that much easier to do, building that part up there. And setting it up like that. <laughs> so it's kind of kind of placed in there, not too bad. It's just that section, so I kind of have it lost in there. So I can see that I can extend this card a little bit further that direction. And then when you do something like the text, again, I'm going to use a little bit of the straight edge and just kind of, as you letter it out lightly, places it in there. And then the part that is bold is going to go straight with this, this part here. So you just want to use the straight edge to help you and it kind of builds that up. Again, since I'm, I know this is going to be kind of a heavy text, I'm just going to go ahead and lay it right on the hard surface and build it up for it. So, and then you have these ladder parts that you can place in there. Go, go, go. And again, as you're doing this, just kind of spelling it out. kind of draw it right in there. Okay. And then you can go back in, just kind of heavy up the character. Kind of 
building it up from there. Make any modifications to it that you need to. So I'm kind of doing the overall detail first. I back this up. Like so. It kind of gives you the general look to it. Then any of the parts that are shaded in, just heavy them up there. And now I can go back in. I'm going to go back a little bit on the surface of the drawing. And now I can use the pencil. And as I'm going through this, I'm trying to build this up. Even though it's just a one card deal, I'm just going to shade it as it goes down. Do the same on this side. It's building that up. So now I can put a little bit of tone. Again, this has a backing. It has a Kind of a black background, just kind of lightly shade the background to it. And now I have that section. And any pieces that, if they're different, just kind of line them up here and follow that same piece along that side. <clears throat> See if you can pick one of those. There's three pictures to choose from. And build that section up. Kind of give yourself that look to it. 